Hey guys, it's Rita, and we are going live. Um, it is about 1 a.m. right now, and this is um, all-nighter number two. So, I'm sitting here with Baby, and he is being very, very fussy. So, um, as I'm sitting here trying to soothe him and giving him his gripe water, um, I am thinking of an experiment. And that experiment is going to be me changing my diet for a whole week. And seeing what happens um, because I can't stand to see him in such discomfort um, anymore and not only do I not want to see him in discomfort um, I want to be able to see him enjoy um, nursing and enjoy mealtime and I believe that it will also help me get some rest. <laughs> help us get some rest. That's why I'm, you know, downstairs. Downstairs right now. Um, because Keith has to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. It's only five hours from now. And he's only been asleep maybe about an hour so far. And I don't want to disturb him with the baby. So I kicked myself out and I'm down on the couch, you know, because I haven't gone back to work yet. So I don't mind, you know, I can sleep during the day with the baby. But, um, yeah, I, I want to do this experiment and change my diet for a whole week. Just due to the fact that, um... I, I think I might be eating too much dairy. Um, like too much dairy products, too much milk, too much cheese, too much yogurt, too much ice cream. Just um, too much star starchy foods, you know, too much broccoli, too much white rice. Um, it's okay, buddy. Too many things like that that are affecting his belly and giving him gas through my breast milk. Um, when I went to my nutritionist a couple weeks ago, you know, they told me to really watch my dairy intake then. Um, but when they told me, they, you know, were telling me because of the fact that I have low iron. And one of the things that can cause low iron is eating too much dairy. And so I just kind of thought about that. And when they told me that, I never really changed how much dairy I ate because I like dairy products. Um, but I remember them telling me that, you know, to watch the baby and see if the baby's able to handle as much dairy as I take in. And I'm starting to think that he definitely can't. He is in discomfort all times of the night. And poor little thing has hiccups right now. He's in discomfort all times of the night, not only at night, but during the day as well. And he just, you hear his little stomach rumbling. You hear him trying to pass gas. And when he eats, he just, he's having a horrible time eating. Whether it be me physically nursing him on the breast or the bottle, he just, you know, he cringes. He stops during the eating and starts crying. And aside from him having the reflux, on top of that, having these gas issues, just his poor little face and the way he cries when he goes through the pain is just horrible. Similar to that. So, um, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Shh. Um, so yeah, something has to give. Um, and I'll probably... 
try to talk more about it when I do his um, five week update. But, um, when I do his five week update, I'll try to talk more about it. It's okay, buddy. These hiccups are really bothering him. Um, but yesterday, he, it was like, Yesterday, it killed him to nurse. He barely nursed. Like, I want to say he might have ate, like, four or five times. And I mean, like, real small amounts. And for a breastfeeding mom, you guys know that that is not a lot at all. And he just, like, slept all day. And when I tried to offer him, you know, my breast and stuff like that, he just did not want it. And when I tried to offer him the bottle, he just did not want it. And, um, today... He ate more, but still not as much as he had been eating. And when he did eat, you know, soon after, he was either throwing up or dealing with gas pains. And I finally just got him to nurse, physically nurse on me because he didn't want to. He would only want to take the bottle. And I finally just got him to. And as soon as he finished, he was in knots in his belly and stuff like that. So I'm just, I don't know. I, I don't want to put him through it anymore if it's because of what I'm eating. And what I'm eating isn't anything bad. Like, I swear, like, I haven't had broccoli all week. Um, I haven't eaten anything gassy, really. Um, just I just dairy products. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to cut back on all of my dairy and see what happens. It's okay. So, I just wanted to check in with you guys really quick, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of my little buddy and um, get him comfortable so we can both get some sleep. Alright guys, check it out.